Hi everybody and welcome back to the channel. In today's video we're going to be painting some low rider art. So the pieces that we're going to need for this project today guys I'll pop up in the screen just here. We're going to need some paper so the paper that I've chosen is this one just here. This is a canvas paper and it is quite dense so we can get the scratch back techniques and this will hold up really well with the acrylics and the other paints that I've chosen for this project for today guys. The pictures that we're going to be using, I've chosen this one for the background. It's more of that theme, goes really well with the low rider style. So we've got the sunset, we've got the palm trees for the background, so I've chosen that. The image that we're using for the main foreground piece, the car, is going to be this one. And this one will just sit just below, under that palm tree setting. So that's the car we're going to use. The airbrushes that we're going to use today, I'm going to use the PS771 by Creos for the main detail on this portrait and the background we need to get some paint down and get a bit of coverage i've chosen the ps 290 by creos that's a trigger control airbrush so we can smash the paint down with that the paint we're using today is going to be the golden high flow acrylics for the main detail parts the shading things like that a bit in the background so that's what we're going to be using and i've also chosen some candy paint by specialist paints so we're going to use some candies on this and give it that real low rider style on the car. We're also going to do some silver leafing on this. So this is the first time I've done this, so fingers crossed this comes out well. So we're going to do some silver leaf down the side of the car. We're going to add some textures into the silver leaf and then we'll drop the candies over the top and give it that real nice custom paint job on this car that we're doing today. So there are all the pieces that we're using. I'll stick you in time lapses. I'll give you a little break along the way, talk through how we're doing, things like that. So yeah, let's get into it.
break after that really long time lapse, talk you through what I did, how I did it. I started off, I projected the car up and just penciled out lines and then I went over the car again and cut another shield so we could put a shield over the car, mask the car out as you've seen in that time lapse and then we put the background in. We've done a candy blue fade coming down into a candy gold and then we started going around the car and I basically went around mapping out in a shading grey and just shaded grey all the areas and then went and started putting the blacks in, paint pen with the whites. We've dropped the blue just on the chrome pieces there and just worked it bit by bit, used the shields, went round and then you see me drop the, if that's picking that bit up there, that's the chrome film. It's, it feels like uh, tin foil, it's really thick. I thought it was gonna be a lot thinner. So we put the sizing down, which is like a glue. We put that on that area. We masked the line out either side. We put the glue down, let that go so it was like tacky, like masking tape, and then place that on with a paper towel. And then I've candy red on the actual car and then drop some candy red coming through dark at the back and just faded up on this chrome line coming down. The next thing to do is we're going to, I've got the palm trees penciled out. So what I'll do is I've got a bit of mask. I'll mask this part of the car off and leave the windows because some of these palm tree, the actual trunks of the palm trees are going to come through these window gaps. So we'll chop that out, put this on top and then we'll drop the sharp outline of the silhouette, put the blacks in on the palm trees, and then we'll be done. So that's where we are. I'll stick on another time lapse. We'll get the palm trees in, and I'll do some more little tighten, sharpen bits up. But the most of it's there. We'll get it demasked, and that'll be finished for today, guys. So I'll drop in another time lapse, and then I'll see you at the end of the video. there's the finished picture I've demasked it you see in that last time lapse I'd cut out the palm trees and then to get that paper to stick I just rolled up some um, masking tape stuck it to the back and then placed it on we've got a couple of bits of blow through where the paint just slightly blew through but that just adds another texture to the picture so that's not a problem so that's the finished piece I'll run through the bits that we use we've used the golden high flow acrylics on this, we've used the specialist paints. We've used two can three candies on this. We've used a candy blue, and then I used a candy fool's gold in this sunset piece at the back, and just faded that up. And then I went in with a transparent purple and just dropped a teeny bit of purple over there. On the car, we've used the candy fool's gold as like a base coat for the car, and then I went in with a candy ruby red over the top. We went in with the mirror effect leaf. You get these in packs of like 12 sheets. And then to apply that, you will use the gilding paste, which is like a glue. And I just used a little artist brush and we painted that on. Put the film on and then I just, cause it was quite thick. Once the film was on, I had a fine line along here and here, one mil. And I just ran the scalpel up and cut round the film because it is quite thick. It's like a um, tin foil, quite thick. So we put that on, paper towel, press that down, and then I dropped the candy to the back of the, of the car and then just done a fade up with the candy so you can see the reflection in that. It looks really nice. When the light hits this, it's will really pop. We went in with the shading grey 
on the first pass round the front and we've used the Posca paint pens for some of the highlights and now just finished off and just dropped a little bit of white just dusted in there just to give that look of that being the sort of the road instead of it all being jet black we'll just put a light dust in to the bottom of the car and then you've got your shadow along here under the car so i hope you enjoyed this video on the low rider art don't forget if you're new to my channel click that subscribe press that notification so you don't miss out on any more up and moving videos on dread effects custom paint big welcome to all the new subscribers again and as i say if there's any stuff you want to see any videos any reviews or things that you want to look at just drop the comments below guys and i'll jump straight onto them so yeah that's the end of the video and i'll see you lot in the next one thanks for watching